India is the world's snake bite capital. Over 1.2 million Indians have died due to snake bites since 2000. This scary statistic is why snakes remain so misunderstood in India. But coexistence is crucial, considering how vital snakes are for the planet's ecological health. Besides, without snakes, rodents would multiply rapidly, wiping out entire farm harvests. Recognizing this, the Lyana Trust, in collaboration with the Humane Society International, has developed pioneering solutions for mitigating human snake conflict. So how can we learn to live with snakes? First step, tackling misconceptions. And providing education is the key to achieving this. In fact, whenever the team receives a snake sighting call, their priority is to calm the scared residents through dialogue. We must realize that killing or relocating a snake only empties out a space for another snake to replace it. Instead, if we cleaned up our waste, managed our landscape and lived vigilantly, we could coexist with these snakes safely while ensuring a healthy ecosystem around us. Knowing the do's and don'ts while encountering snakes is also crucial. The Trust builds this awareness through experiential learning and community involvement, echoing similar efforts by the Madras Crocodile Bank Trust. Together, they conduct nationwide workshops for school children, farmers, and the forest department officials on snake safe practices like using flashlights at night and wearing rubber boots while working in fields. All of these guidelines are reinforced by research. For instance, the Layana Trust is currently studying the Russell's Viper one of the big four venomous snakes, responsible for over 95% of snake bite deaths in India. By studying its behavior and human interactions, guidelines are being formulated to reduce human viper encounters. They are also working with the Evolutionary Venomics Lab at IISC and Madras Crocodile Bank Trust to develop effective anti-venom across regions and species. Today, many villagers that work with the Lyana Trust no longer fear snakes, allowing the reptiles release near homes or even in their farms. It's important to remember that this is just the beginning of a much larger effort. Changing generations of myth and superstition is not going to happen overnight. Still, I'm hopeful that in time, conservation is not going to be just altruistic, but a self-serving way of life. Let's build a future where humans and snakes thrive together. Click the link in the description to find out how you can play a role in fostering this harmony. Reach out to Jerry at the rate lyanatrust.org.